Here we have my homemade electric bike. You can see, I'll just zoom in so you can see how it operates. We have a 250 watt DC motor, which is attached to this first set of gears there, which steps it down again to the pedals there. The motor itself turns around at 5,000 RPM. Um, this gear in enables the pedals to turn around about 80 RPM, which is about an average sort of pedaling speed. It operates with just a simple on-off switch there, so it simply works on and off. The speed is set by obviously the way how fast you pedal, so that gives you as long as you keep pedaling around 60 or 70 rpm the motor is always giving you some power. Um, the batteries unfortunately are heavy lead acid batteries as um, I needed to keep costs down to a minimum which also means the bike is on quite a cheaply built frame. Um, I'll just go and pop the batteries in their box which is at there, it's just an old box I found lying about. I think I had bird seed in actually. I'll pop those in the box now. Lead acid batteries are, well, they're very heavy, um, but they are quite cheap, so that's why I had to go for them. And um, it's one of the drawbacks of the, of the bike. Speed wise, you just ride it as you would an ordinary bike, but the, with the motor geared to the pedals, just gives you a bit of a boost so you can go a, bit, a little bit faster than you would ordinarily on a similar model. I'll zoom back there and I'll go and just flip the switch on so you can see how, how, how the pedals turn. Zoom in on the pedals a bit there. turned it around now so you can see the chain ring it's quite high geared I've added a 60 tooth outer chain ring to a standard 48 tooth chain ring on the as an inner gear so it's quite high geared which does is a little bit of a drawback up hills could do with a little bit low gear sometimes and I think that's about it there it is in all its glory. That just leaves me to show you it working along the road in a sec. Yeah. Oop. 